Hi there, Virgo. This is Kim with your next 48-hour reading. Thanks for joining me, guys. Thanks for the support. Like, share, subscribe. Also, I have private readings if you're interested in that in the description box below. I'm pulling from the Shaman's Dream first, and then we're going to pull clarifying cards with a Psychic Tarot. And then we'll clarify the clarifying cards if we have to do the Spacious Tarot or this little deck. Hey Virgo. Let's see what's going on. Angel Spirit Guides. Always for the highest good. Sign of Virgo. Underlying issue. Still needing to find that trail. And it is unmarked. So it's some kind of pioneering spirit. Um, <clears throat> Make the universe your partner. Things will be easier for you. If you, may, if you create with spirit. Overflow, overwhelm, and plenty. I think that that's to be unlocked. I'll be... Honest, I think that's what's coming because I think that those are in the reverse. There definitely is obstacles. So that's that's what I'm feeling is coming before. Now this can come at any time. It's up to you. The in the end, the wall definitely has a a key going through it. We have really a need to notice more possibilities. Kind of like the two of wands energy here. Stars in the sky, limitless possibilities. So I think that that's just meaning that these cards are the cards that we need to pay more attention to, the ones that come out like that. So like there may be a need to be more connected or mind your connections, connectivity, how easily are you to connect with the jeweled web. The jeweled web has all these beautiful opportunities on it that you meet by kind of going through one person meeting another person and it just unfolds <clears throat> the wall and i have the fates on the like this one wanted to fall off and sky riding the fates came out unmarked trail so there's still a trail there's something for you to find so this will be kind of like a problem solving reading i think because I think that you have some obstacles, but if you can get past the obstacles, you have overwhelm and plenty waiting for you. There's something about the communication, opening up communication to more answers from your spirit guides and your angels and from, from your higher self. So being in a, a meditative state will do it. That will uh, free your mind or any kind of like Zen thing that you do, you know, chop wood. <laughs> Chop wood, carry water. That's what they say. Stay busy. Keep your mind occupied. And it, it clears another area while you're doing something like that. It is meditating. But sitting still, there's something about the stillness here and the possibilities. Sitting still, that might be uh, something that's hard to do sometimes. And that might be about how our connection to spirit could be so much stronger here. If you would let them be your partner. That com that really requires complete trust. Um, blind faith, in a sense. But your blind faith would be in yourself. Look, it's the six of pentacles, material and spiritual prosperity. This person like has it that this is their definition of success, which is pretty nice, right? A balcony, two waterfalls. It's pretty beautiful. Okay, so. It looks like the two columns right here the, the two of wands too but it's not it's the seven um of the pentacles patience and planning so patience is definitely an issue this is um number six third eye chakra 
there's your over there's your challenge the wall the obstacles is your five of pentacles either somebody feels really left out or you feel left out like an outsider in some situation that that is coming across as this is the temporary it's a temporary obstacle hmm. Maybe connect with others who have suffered a same or similar emotional loss as you. Maybe regretting something about communication, about not, maybe not communicating that much. Okay, so this is good. This is um, what you put in, you're definitely going to get um, like a success out of. Yeah, I think your thoughts here. Um, Six of Pentacles. Third eye chakra needs to be open more. It's closed, uh, not all the way, but I'm sure it's just a little, it's meaning just a little bit because of the temporary distraction with the obstacles that are you're currently face or that it appears like you're currently facing. So while we're so while we're thinking about this, like something else. Might be happening. I don't know. This is about what you think about comes about and the spirit really opening up saying, I will take take my hand and we'll guide you through these obstacles. We'll get you. We have the key that will get you through the wall, no matter what kind of disappointment you've had recently. There soon will be overflow, overwhelm, and plenty. Soon you will have this in your consciousness, in your third eye. It's definitely telling you to visualize. Go ahead and get into a place of stillness and then visualize. Um, there's disappointment in the things that must end. There's disappointment in the things that must close um, that... Perhaps we didn't want them to close, but or disappointment in a person, too. So there's an ending at foot. Is that what they say? There's a closure that will actually get you through to an open door. The closing of one. Tell me about the light. Why is the light in reverse? This could be representing the sun card. In reverse, maybe a Leo not present. This could be Aquarius energy, Scorpio, judgment. It's about forgiveness, possibly second chances, and the Wheel of Fortune is really good right here. It's underlying. So that's time for good luck to come in. It's time for you to release um, your judgments on how something is supposed to possibly happen right like bridging your connection so that you get more ideas um more opportunities for like a big success here and it does involve forgiveness love compassion announcements awakening perhaps there's awakening underway too tell me about the five of cups here energy Need to get more information. Uh, possibly an emotional loss with child, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius energy. Possibly. We're just needing to get more information here. Um, open up connectivity. Connect with others for some kind of information. The Ten of Wands. Well... I think that in this card, it's like you may have taken on a whole lot, but you're about to see home base. Yeah, there's Ten of Pentacles on the bottom. So, Ten of Wands, Ten of Pentacles is 10-10. Ten, ten. And there's another message about patience, Taurus energy, temperance energy, possibly Sagittarius energy. So you're almost there. There's just, this is like maybe the last hurdle or obstacle. It has to do with you seeking somebody out there that is going to help you. And then it's like, this is the good stuff come true. 
Tell me about the third eye chakra. Overflow, overwhelm, and plenty. Oh, okay. Maybe it wants to clarify something like that. Yeah, okay. You don't see something ending. So maybe this is about the obstacle is like, can we um, accept this change and put an end to a cycle so that a new chapter can come that's uh, more elevated for us? Tired of waiting feels like an energy too. Two of Pentacles, change. So tell us, is this change um, about, <laughs> what is this change about, basically, that's coming in? Changing your commitments and who you're committed to. Um, this is about some kind of hurt and sadness, maybe gossip, betrayal, third-party situation, but it's one of rebirth. <laughs> rebirth after somebody really messed up in a commitment because this is definitely Cupid's arrow. So that's the change that's coming. That's a nice message. You're going to move forward quickly. You're going to hear something or get some news. It's going to make you move forward. It has to do with somebody that wasn't true to a commitment or some kind of friend betrayal. But then I'm like, it's reinventing completely. This change is bringing it in. <clears throat> So forgiveness for whatever situation that was probably will help your situation. Taurus, Cancer, um, Gemini, Sagittarius, Capricorn. Tell me about the overwhelm and plenty. Well, that's nice. The Knight of Pentacles. So it's going to come in uh, slowly and a possible delay. It has to do with these obstacles, but soon it will come in slowly. You don't want overnight success because it will tend to leave the same way. <laughs> Tell me about patience and planning. That's gonna be the key to your victory. The knowledge that you find out with this, um, after you let go of this emotional loss and stop carrying on so much burden of regret, sadness, like, got to let that stuff go. got to forgive yourself to move past it. And then there's that information that leads you to your victory. And it is a strategy. There's a strategy and a plan here. I think the universe is saying, hey, we're, we will help you. Or your higher self saying, hey, listen to me. I will help you. <laughs> I will help you. You just have to decide what it is that you want with that two of swords energy there. Either way, there's a peaceful resolution. Five of Cups, Five of Cups, connectivity. Feels like the energy of like regretting that we can't get back missed time. Mm, that's what that's coming off. Um, across as the only thing that can stop you or that's bounding you to some kind of restriction would be your own thoughts and remember though we have success here underlying everything there's success there's overwhelm there's plenty there's just a lot of things that we have to forgive um, ourselves and others for so that we can heal through this situation all right and that is what i've got for you goodness let's get um Get some of these psychic medium communication between spirit worlds dark night of the soul path of initiation and facebook platform spiritual posts and activities and join me on tiktok for another oracle if you want sending you love and light by virgo